Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Dirt Grain Steel. So this is going to be one of our cooking episodes. I'm going to show you how to make uh, homemade donuts. Uh, Jess talked me into this. She wanted some homemade donuts. I haven't made them in a long time. I think the last time I made them was when her and I first got together. And I guess I just haven't made them since the honeymoon was over. So I'm going to go ahead and make some of these if I can get these biscuits open here. Now what you're going to need to do is just go get you some uh, some biscuits, just these plain buttermilk biscuits. We got these at uh, Walmart. Uh, they're the great value brand. You don't have to have nothing fancy. So what I do with them is I lay them out like so. Now I did wash my hands before I started doing this. You should always practice uh, good hand washing when working with food, of course. Everybody knows that. So what we're going to do is... I've got just a pop bottle cap. It's actually off a Dasani water bottle. Nothing special. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the holes in these, J just like so. I'm gonna lay them over here on a paper plate. And actually, while we're doing that, we'll get our uh, our uh, oil on here. Get that heated up. Should have done that. Actually, oh, these aren't pre-punched. I thought those might have been pre-punched. So anyways, my mom's done this for years. That's where I learned it from. So to make a nice amount, you want to go through about two cans of biscuits. That's what I'm going to make anyways. So we'll make the biscuits and then we'll, uh, we'll go on to making the, the frosting for them. Now, I didn't read a book this morning. Usually I read books on Sundays. I haven't read a book today because we had to go to Grandma's for breakfast and I just didn't get around to it, so we'll resume that next Sunday. I'll probably work on my uh, Gleaner model this evening. I'll be honest with you, I really haven't hit a lick all day. So, uh, been uh, kind of tired after working on the MC and the 720 John Deere projects. So, I figure, well, we'll do we'll do a little cooking. That's that's relaxing. So, if you've seen my uh, camera mount, you would uh, really laugh. I've got one of my 150th scale Hitachi cranes sitting here, and I got my phone holder clamped to the boom of it. So, I couldn't think of anything else to use for a uh, camera mount. I don't have my tripod, I left my tripod at the shop. So, we get another one of these uh, rolls of biscuits open here. Son of a bitch. There we go. That was a, this was a tough one. Let me get that opened up and that give us a nice amount of nice amount of donuts. That'll keep her busy for a while. She'll have a mouthful of donut. <clears throat> I'm gonna eat some too. But we'll get the donuts made, we'll get them fried up, and I'll show you how to make a good frosting out of just some some white sugar it's going to be a white frosting i shouldn't say white so white like don't want nobody to get offended here but we're not going to make i don't know if you could make a chocolate frosting for these donuts or not we're going to make basically i guess they'd be glazed donuts just homemade glazed donuts you know so uh I'll have to get me another plate so when we start frying these, we'll throw them out on the fry plate. The oil seems to be warming up pretty quick here. Now, I really don't have a recipe to tell you. I can just tell you how to do these. Even when I make the frosting, I kind of make it by uh, just uh, feel, smell, touch, visualization. That's how I make the frosting. i give you a good idea how to do it, though. It's kind of one of them deals you gotta just kind of make it as you go. Okay, so we got our older donuts made up here. So I'm gonna grab another paper plate here out of the cabinet and uh, we'll get the camera moved over here and we'll start frying these up. Okay, so I, I got in the crane, started up, and walked it over by the by the uh, 
stove here so we can get a good look at what's going on. Boom down a little bit so we can see what's going on. We'll uh, get our donuts frying up here. Just gonna put them in that oil just like so. Don't put your finger in there. It'll burn your finger. It's hot. Now we don't want to get them too, uh, we just want them golden brown like that. Look at that. It's like magic. We don't want to get them too done. Got my oil kind of hot actually. I'll be able to turn that down just a smudge. Yeah, we're going to turn that down. Maybe just, maybe just a medium. Leave them just in a second here. That's probably good right there. That, that's what you want. Like that. Just like that. Look at that. Beautiful donuts. Now I like them a little bit doughy in the center. A little bit of doughiness never hurt nobody. So we're going to have some good old fashioned fried donuts. Wonderful. Now these, are, these are a great treat. Kids will love them. Anybody will love them. Dog will love them. Like Mahina's down here just waiting on one. She ain't getting one. Neither is Wiener. I turned that stove up just, just a little more. Medium was a little too cold. Just wasn't getting ready to burn I wanted. You gotta stay with it. They, they, they go pretty quick. Okay, we can take that one out. I'll leave him a little bit. Oh, gotta get him out of there. That one's done. That, we'll call that good. Ooh, good. And you can feel it with your tongs. You know, you can really sense the firmness of that donut when you want to get it out of there. You want them a little squishy? Make them a little squishy. You want them well done? Make them well done. Doesn't hurt my feelings. Tell them how you want them. So now we're going to do our holes real quick. It won't take very long for a hole. Yeah. There we go. And I'm not going to put them all in because it'll be a lot to keep up with because they're small. This is probably not the healthiest snack. But I'll tell you what, it's going to taste good. Take him out of there, plop him on the plate. You don't want to get him too done. In a world of people that, that are all about being healthy nowadays, this is definitely not the meal for them. But for guys like me that aren't really too worried about it, I'm going to eat these and I'm going to enjoy them. Okay, so I'm going to fry the rest of these up and then uh, we'll uh, make a video on the uh, frosting. Okay, so I started crane back up, tracked it back over towards the sink. And uh, we're going to get started making our uh, our uh, powdered sugar here. I've got my cup that Sausage made me when she was in graphics class. That's my 200 right there. So we're going to get that cup. And we're going to get some country crock. My favorite buddy. Love country crock. And uh, we're going to get a good liberal amount of that butter and put it in that cup. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take that cup over. 
we're going to stick it in the microwave and we're going to melt this butter. Okay, so we got our butter melted. We're going to get our bag of uh, powdered sugar here. We're just going to just cut the tip off. Oh, them scissors are dull. Jess must have been using the cut cardboard. Or They're dull. So we're going to pour out some powdered sugar. Oh, sorry, you can't see that. There we go. Horrible cameraman, I guess. I like a lot of icing on my donuts. So, there we go. We got about, uh, well, I can't see the marking because they're too white. Oh, we got about, we got about one cup of powdered sugar in there. So we're going to add our butter that we melted in the microwave. We dump that in there. And we're going to put a little milk in there too. And then we're going to mix it all up. Oh, Mahina, come lick that off the floor, please. We're going to have to add a little more powdered sugar. I got a little hair too much butter, but there we go. There we go. Might have been a hair too much butter. It's a little yellow. But like I said, I kind of go off of just, uh, I cook by visualiz visualization and smell. Splashed it all over me. Got all over my corn hub shirt. Okay, let me try it. Hmm, not good. No, oh, I almost forgot. Um, oh no, where's that? I'll be right back. I forgot to add a little vanilla extract to it. Okay, so I almost forgot to add the vanilla ac extract, but I went and got some. So, uh, just put about uh, a cap full. That's about all you need. So, and I switched to a little whisk instead of a spoon because I really wanted to beat them chunks out of it. So, I made plenty of frosting, but whatever I don't use on a donuts, I'll just drink the rest. I added just a little more brown sugar. Not brown sugar, powdered sugar, sorry. I never, never admitted to be the best cook there ever was. Okay, so now we're gonna take our donuts here. I'll bring them over here. Oh, got donut holes falling off my plate. Should have had a little bit bigger plate. Bring our donuts over here. And now we'll take our whisk and we'll dribble dribble some frosting on them. Or you can just pour it on if you want. The best donuts will be on the bottom, the ones that are submerged in it. And you want your donuts to cool off a little bit before you do this so it sticks to them. So anyways, that's how you make some homemade donuts. Sorry, I could, should have tipped the camera a little bit more. Oh, there we go. Let me move the crane a little bit so there you go that's how you make homemade donuts at home on the weekend if there's no bakeries open you can uh, get the biscuits out of the refrigerator get a little oil frying and you can have your own homemade donuts 
So if you like this episode of Dirt Rain Steel, give me a like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next one. Oh, and if you didn't really believe me, I'll show you. I really was using a crane for a uh, camera mount. See? Worked out great. So, time to enjoy some donuts.